Oh. Well, welcome to Two Fat Guys in a Car. Two, two, it's Two Fat Guys at the Movies, but um, we are in a car. Uh, we had this amazing, funniest joke. It was great. It was really great, and we didn't write it down. And we didn't record it. We didn't... I don't remember. That's what happens when you're bullshitting at 2 o'clock in, in the, the morning. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, welcome to Season 4! Two fat guys at the movie, social distancing, of, of course, you know. You guys saw the picture. We were, we were social distancing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so what movie did we see, Mr. J? I believe it was uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Um, uh, was it Bowser, Bowser versus Donkey Kong. Dawn of the Castle. I don't know. I think it was on, I think we were, it was on the high roof. I I, I, I thought we I thought we saw uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Dawn of Dawn of Monster Island or some. Oh, sorry. Just was it just Godzilla versus Kong. Is it, There's no subtext on there. Let's, let's put it this way, dude. It, it, it was Kong all fucking day long. Because what happens? You know, spoiler alerts. Uh, Godzilla was like a bitch, and he could, guy was getting his ass kicked by Mecha Godzilla. He's like, Meh. whoa, whoa, whoa. He, like jumped to the end there. I need help. Uh, and Kong was like, Psh, no, bitch, I'm done with you. <laughs> and then the little girl says, you got to help him, bro. <laughs> and he's like, Kong's like, damn it, you're right, yo. Fuck it. And he goes like, I'm going to help you, dog. Yeah. But after this, we're done. I'm going to do my own, my, maybe do another movie. You just go back to where it is. <laughs> um. I don't remember if we did a review for King of Monsters or not. I think we did. I think uh-huh. we did it with Joseph and, da- and Dan. No, it was... We uh, didn't. No, it was... I'm pretty sure, but I thought we did. Anyways, did I not call it? Did I not say... Did I not say, oh, I can't wait for Godzilla vs. Kong, Dawn of Justice? Because literally... Now, I know some people might complain because I did... I hear... Okay, so last night... Uh, we went and saw it last night. We should have recorded this last night, but we started bullshitting about other stuff. And then we're like, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. But anyways, uh, one of the uh, we had a we had a group of people there that we went to go see the movie with, and stupid me didn't think about getting their reactions to the movie, you know. So I missed out on that. So my bad. Oh, hold on, we forgot to also uh, say that this video is N F Y D. Not for you, Diana. So if you're watching, stop. Stop. Oh God. Yeah, Diana, uh, you can't watch this, but your husband totally can, or he can listen, whatever, watch, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> and, and Coil, if you're listening, hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, maybe we uh, maybe we should shout out Dad Gaming. It was Kyle. That's his little thing. Because people listen to the scene, like, oh my God, oh my God, I got a shout out. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, go visit his YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. Like, subscribe. Live and subscribe, yep, yep. Call the action, all that good stuff. Anyways. Um, so, where are you going? You said it down, yo. Oh, okay. I guess, oh, anyways, sorry, sidetrack, I'll cut that. I probably won't. <laughs> anyways, so one of the complaints that I heard or just kind of thrown out there was that the movie was too much Kong and then off Godzilla. Now, I understand why they did that. Here's the reasoning. You have Godzilla, which honestly, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the original Godzilla movie that was done in 2009. Yeah, the one was, uh, Quicksilver and Witch, right? Yeah, Kissing, yeah. <clears throat> I, you know what, I, when I rewatched it, I was like, holy shit. Those two brothers keep no brother and sister. Nope, don't like it. Don't like it. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that. Did not realize that. But I don't think they. I don't think Age of Ultron had been out yet. Two thousand nine. I don't know. Could Google it, but you know what? If you're watching this, just some just go, just go. Yeah, yeah ask Google some it, comments. Comment, yeah, and then you know, let us know. Like, oh, you're just stupid or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, anyways, um, so I watched that, and then you have. King of Monsters, which is also again a Godzilla movie, and no, my only—I remember one of my complaints was like, "Where was King Kong in all this?" Or sorry, Kong, because he's not called King Kong, and he's technically never called King Kong, but it's implied at the end of the movie that he becomes King Kong when he goes down to the Hollow Earth and he's like the big man in charge. That was the input. That so there's a thing on about there was a post-credit scene, and then they cut it, but they didn't actually cut it; they just put it part of the film. From my understanding, that after credit scene was basically with showing them on Hollow Earth and King Kong, you know, doing his like at the end, it's signifying that he is now King Kong, even though they never call him King Kong. But anyways, so you basically had two movies with King Kong, or sorry, Godzilla, and King Kong only had one movie, what? which was Kong, which was Kong Skull. Was it Skull Island or was it just Kong Skull Island? 
Kong Skull Island. Okay. Oh. So, so I can understand them. It, it was just like it was almost just like Batman v Superman. I feel like they they spent more time on Batman than they did on Superman because obviously it was a new Batman. You got to establish that Batman character versus the Superman, which you've already got a full movie on. So I understand them focusing more on Kong than Godzilla. Okay. Now, one thing this movie did right was that it it really focused a traditional uh, kaiju movie style, Japanese style, where they just focus on monsters fighting everybody and there's no story. The story is very, very like linear. It's very you know, like straightforward. You That's try to I, as far as like the movie, like the the whole monster versus movies go. Uh, I will sit there and say that this one. You know, it, it had the human element in there to kind of, to kind of move the forward story forward when they needed it. But at the same time, it wasn't like, oh my God, we're humans and, you know, Godzilla. I mean... There was less human elements in this one than there was in, say... And I also have to say about the last battle, it, it was... I mean, I'm not one of those people that I don't knock, you know, the old Godzilla movies for being the guys in Robert Cox because... Those are actually freaking hilarious. I, I, I love those movies. Those are, those are great. And that's what the whole you know whole end of battle scene kind of remind me of. Is, you know, is it, or if uh, for some of the you know younger hip you know younger kids who are watch Power Rangers, is like the Power Ranger episode where you got the Megazord fighting the alien, knocking over cardboard buildings and stuff. And it's that's what it was. You know, some of those things like you know. What's funny though, you say that, but yet we actually technically are watching two guys fighting it out. Because Godzilla and King Kong are mocap. Were they? That, yeah. I, did, I don't I don't know. Nope. Nope. The... nope. Godzilla and King Kong are motion captured. They might not be motion captured together, but they they they, they motion capture a lot. Uh, King Kong definitely. You can definitely tell that was motion capture. I know. I uh, said I don't know if they show. I, I was actually watching the credits for any motion capture, and I didn't see any. But mm-hmm. King doesn't necessarily mean anything. Well, I know but they. I do, like, if you ever seen like the movie Rampage? Yep. That a lot of that was uh, actually was motion capture. Yeah. I I I know King of Monsters you Godzilla. Get the fuck over, dude. I'm gonna be an idiot. <laughs> there it is. There you go. Uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, had uh, was mocap with uh, King Fiora and uh, Godzilla. Uh, the fighting no, yeah, scenes. Yeah, I remember. Uh, it was actually they had like th- they had like three guys that like, you know stuck together, uh, kind of connected together. Yep, to do the the head. They, they had like the thing up for the head and everything, because you know they were catching a lot, like giving Godzilla more facial expressions. Like you know, it's like you could like he was looking up because you know the heads are up anyways. But anyways, the reason why I bring up Degora Monster Zero is because he's in this movie. Well, it, it's I liked I liked that they kind of combined two elements. While it sucks that we're not going to get a Mecha Gordura, but we still kind of got it. Well, yeah, because like, like we were talking about last night, how I never seen the original Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, but I watched the uh, reboot from early two thousands, I think. Yeah, I was like, and where it was basically a old a, a, a skeleton of Godzilla was turned into Mecha Godzilla. To yep. fight the evil Godzilla. Yep. Um, and then it gained sentience, and you know, basically said no. He wanted to destroy the evil Godzilla and get out. Which yep. And then there was a sequel to that one, sort of, uh, where they, the humans built another Mecha Godzilla, and that was Tokyo S- uh, SOX, uh, which was the last time Mecha Godzilla. Well, no, Mecha Godzilla I think was seen in Godzilla Destroy All Monsters, which was like the ending of the whatever. It's like two thousand or whatever. Um, I think that's no, maybe it was 2012 because they because they went on a hiatus. But anyways, so if you ever saw one of my things, I, like, I knew Mega Godzilla was gonna be in this movie, even even like even before trailers came out, like way back last year when it was supposed to come out. You know, we don't talk about last year. We don't talk about last year, but I knew, and yeah, because that would have been episode two, actually, not episode one. <laughs> anyways. So yeah, Me- Mecha Godzilla shows up. I liked the design. I I thought it was I thought it was oh, amazing. Let's put it this way: I've I've seen the toy and the the movie. This one you see in the movie, hell of a lot better. Oh, I think what the toy was actually what was going to be in the movie, but since it was delayed like an entire year, they redid the design. Well, no, it still looks similar, but it. it yeah, looks- I think they I think they did some work on that design. But anyways, yeah, so. Mega Godzilla's in the movie. Uh, he he's hinted at early on. 
Uh, my only my only complaint with this movie is that it didn't I didn't feel like the villain was any focus. I mean, I guess it makes sense because they were focusing on Godzilla versus Kong. You know, you had Kong versus Godzilla early in the movie. Well, that Ajax or whatever the the uh, Apex Apex was the was basically the villain. So they were the villain, yeah. Even though like the main guy, like they they but they joked about it. He joked. Uh, there's a there's a conspiracy theory character. I think his name is Bernie or something Bernie, like that. Yep. Uh, I wanted to hear. I actually wanted I want, to hear. I actually wanted to hear his speech. You know. And like I said it's one of those people like people you know complain about some like movies being serious and stuff. And I'm like, that actually had the right a bit. You know, a little bit of comedy was just just focused on his. You know, his or him. Uh, the kid from Deadpool two and. Uh, that was 11. the kid from Deadpool two. I was like, where the hell have I seen this kid before? Thank you for pointing that out. Holy shit! I was, I was. I was remember, wondering. Remember, kids, don't drink tap water. Don't drink tap water. Oh god, that joke was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, it's it's a solid movie. I mean, it's not. It's. I actually think it's better than King of Monsters, even though I thought King of Monsters was the bomb. You know, but I also feel like it had a little bit too much story to it that didn't make any sense. And the reason I say it didn't make any sense is because. And even still, with uh, with even with this movie, they kind of countered. I feel like they almost want to forget Godzilla actually happened, even though this movie's beginning credit scenes actually have like they do this whole montage scene where they show like, oh, Godzilla came out, and he's de- and like show all the all the different titans that have been defeated, and then it shows Kong who defeated one, mind you, or at least what they showed. I think that was the well, monster no, they're, they're, from they're... Skull Island to well, like a, like a little like. Like a pattern, like skull walkers. But skull walkers, yeah. No, but anyway, they actually uh, did show. That's what I'm saying. Multiple, they showed multiple defeat, you know, They showed the defeated. yeah. They showed the Mudo, which were the monsters from the first Godzilla movie. But what I mean, like, I feel like they they're trying to forget the first movie happened because, and even going in the second movie, they they really they really hinder on that Godzilla was a man creation. You know. But then they, but then they're like, oh, we created him, you know, with the nuclear age. But then they go into, but it's an ancient creature from ancient times. Well, there would be no nuclear power unless you're saying, unless I guess, I guess they were trying to say that he's more powerful now because of the nuclear element that was added to him, you know. Um, and I, I, I know, and, and I, I'm one of those ones that. I miss not having having Monster Island. You know, they basically did Monster Island, but they just made it the Hollow Earth, which is the center of the Earth. They're like we were discussing it last night. Was it the actual center of the Earth, or is it like around the center of the Earth kind of thing? But that was like I don't know how long that conversation was <laughs> for discussing that. But I, mean, I won't up, go into that. But ended up since then, it doesn't matter because if you're going to complain about you know the Hollow Earth, it wasn't really a complaint. I well, think no, it was no, more. What of, I'm saying, I'm saying if someone's going to complain about well the core, lot mold core, right? Uh, first of all, let's, I'm going to point out there's a giant fucking gorilla in the movie <laughs> yeah. and a giant lizard. So yeah, dinosaur, um, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Hello. Hello. Um, and then, you know, wow, what a bunch of fucking idiots. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Um, it's just one of those things where like, you know, it did what it would, it did what it need to do. Um, I would, I really wish we would get, if they're going to, when they do these versus movies, I really wish they wouldn't throw in like a, a third element where the two have to team up together. Now you have to also remember the part where King Kong, when he's like, you know, when he got, you know, sucker punched by, uh, you know, Godzilla when he was on that aircraft carrier, he was like. He's like, Mothra, why'd you say that name? Why'd you say that name? Yeah. Mothra! Mothra! You know? Um, but I know when the first trailer came out, people were like, oh, but why is Godzilla like uh, um, a bad guy now all of a sudden? Well, here's the thing. They show the way they, they obviously they show the trailer, they make it look like Godzilla's a bad guy. But actually, in actuality, what it was going on, and if you have like half a brain, you'd figure it out. Apex, he attacks just an a he attacks an apex uh, place, and I think it's because they were testing. Yeah, no, yeah, well, they're testing. They're using the uh, they Ghidorah, using Dora's skull and, and basically was that the thing. And when because I, I watched it on HBO Max first just to piss people off. I didn't, I didn't spoil <laughs> anything, but I was like, I watched it, and when I saw it again in the theaters, it was like, okay, that's you know Mechagodzilla's you know eye that was 
what the guy what Bernie had seen. Yep, it was his eye, um, which which was a central link. So basically, and then when they went and got this Hollow Earth power source, they attached it. How during that whole scene when you when Kong laid the uh, axe back down, there was actually kind of a cool. Um, I think I was talking to someone earlier today. That'd be a pretty cool tattoo, actually. And that's no. that I it was, I think he called it said it was like the Ring of Godzilla and Kong or something like that. And I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not. I'm again. I'm not a huge Godzilla fan. I'm, I don't nerd out. I mean, like I said, it's one of the things you know, watching those you know the, the guys in the rubber suits fighting you know it out, crashing into cardboard buildings. It's, it's one of those things where it's 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 dumb fun to watch those movies. You know, I'm not. I'm sure back in you know when they first came out, they were like, oh my god, these are great. Nowadays, they're like, oh my god, these are great. The nostalgia factor is strong with those movies. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know much more to to go on about this movie. I mean, you know, it it, it was pretty much. It was Godzilla beat Kong. Um, oh, he cheated. That bitch cheated. <laughs> uh, and the second fight, Kong beat Godzilla. And then he and could... then and then and then Godzilla got up and beat him. But then Godzilla got his ass handed Let's to him. This way, you know, Godzilla... He got his ass handed you, to him by Godzilla. You know what? Like you know, also like you know, uh, you know, like Kong's like, yo, man, what the fuck? I ain't got atomic breath. Why you bring that shit into the fight, bro? <laughs> it, it it was it was cool. It was cool, and, and, and it's it, a very subtle thing, and it shows how smart those monsters actually are. If, if you're, uh, if in the the callback, I so it wasn't until someone in their group was talking about it that I said I was, I was planning on watching the movies before I went to see it, but I didn't do. It. I got through Kong Skull Island, and it's like, yeah, whatever, you know. I, but I did forget that because uh, they were talking about two heads, and they go, there was three. Was it end credits and King of Monsters? They showed one of Ghidorah's heads, but. No, but I remember I forgot that Godzilla had ripped open the jaws of one of them and shot his you know breath down there. And yep, yep. That. So the third head was destroyed in King of Monsters. Yeah, that's but why however, there's only two. However, um, I did like the little slight nod again with those Easter eggs, as it were, to if you were paying attention, which you know I saw that. I mean, I, once I seen him doing, it, I, I kind of go, oh yep, I remember. And then and as I because you know I remember you know him even in the trailers they would show you know Godzilla ripping open and shooting the fire down the one throat. Yep. And, did that to him, and, and Mecha, Mecha Godzilla was uh, trying to do the same thing to him. Yep. So basically, and he, he would have failed. Or he would have uh, succeeded had Kong not said that. You know, right, you know what? This shit's you know fucked up. You know, it's fucked up, dog. Yeah. yeah um, so basically, you know, Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla did his whole like you know he could fly sort of. Um, he had jet packs, so he could really throw his punches. And you know what? Uh, he had know, the spinning tail. He had the spinning tail. Here's the thing: is like you know, you know. Like, Kong was like, you know, what the fuck, dog? I gotta fight this guy for you. And he's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. Boom. What's he do? Cut off an arm. What's he do? Cut off the tail. Just cuts off the other arm. You know what he does? Rips his fucking head out. And like, Rrr. oh, I loved it. And I, and that was I was gonna say, like, I love how it shows how actually smart those monsters were, because earlier when they had a fight and Godzilla get, or sorry, uh, well, Kong gets Stormbreaker. <laughs> well, and, Kong also knows sign language. So yeah, you know. yeah, he knows sign language. Yeah, too. Uh, he gets Stormbreaker. Um, I'm guessing. That the that the blade is made out of one of an ancient Godzilla's fins because well, here, it started here's reacting here's when thing, Godzilla though, started here's the thing, reacting. Though, um, if you looked at the floor, there's like a whole bunch of them there. So I, this one must have been part of a a bigger one. Yeah. Well, no, it was the same thing. Like, was he, he showed, because they showed more spines on the floor, actually attached to the bone. Yep. Yep. So basically, it must have been something that was you know dislodged and obviously used in a, a previous attack because you've seen. Uh, Kong had pulled the axe out of a skull. I don't know. Yep. If it was like a yeah, I think it was a Godzilla skull. Yeah, or uh, 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 or earlier version, or whatever. But I do remember. I I liked how when Godzilla fired his atomic breath and King Kong like got, it hit the the blade. It's in the trailer where he brings it down and like puts him, you know. And then because when King Kong comes in and grab and stops making Godzilla from ripping. Godzilla's mouth open and blasting him in the face. Um, they start like even King Kong at first had had a, had a hard time like fighting him. And I even like they did do a little tag team where they both grab him and slam him through a building, and then he's holding the axe and Godzilla looks at it and he fires his atomic blast right at the blade, knowing that it's going to charge, supercharge it. And, the, that, and then Kong, that's when Kong, like you said, you that's when he said like Kong took his took the blade and chopped off arms, legs, tail. I was like, give me that head, give me your head, motherfucker. <laughs> ripped out. <laughs> you know, like, Godzilla's like, dang dog, I, I'm I'm so weak here. I will give you some fire breath. Like oh. Kong's like, the fuck, dude. So are we saying that Kong was Goku and, and Go, 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 Gojira? Gojira? Gojira. 
Yeah, Godzilla. Gorgia is the original name. Godzilla is is uh, is Vegeta. <laughs> Take the power. <laughs> Whatever. That's just one of those things where you know, right there. It's 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 just one of those things where you know, fucking Kong. Uh, you know, it was it was Kong all night long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 I mean, I mean, I th- I think if Godzilla and Kong had met under normal circumstances, they probably would have been more of a cleaner fight. And there might have been because in the original there was a it was much more of a cleaner fight, you know. Where this one Godzilla was on a rampage Wait, because he was wasn't sensing. Ori- was it the original one? Was that when the Godzilla guy you know, leaned back and he was like f- flying on his tail? No, that's a different one. Oh, was it? That's a different one. <laughs> no, I know. That's a, that's, a, that's just for me is dumb. Yeah. But, you know, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Godzilla was on his rampage, just tr- and like going on a rampage and appearing like he was attacking people. Or, but he was attacking Apex uh, places, and then he and then he was hunting Kong, because because he picked up Kong, and he and, and he was also and then he also picked up um, Jigora, because that's what they were sensing. Because every time they activated it, it was bringing it back to life. Because when they gave it the power source, at the end of the movie, there was a the whole plot of the movie. Let's go get this power source, because then we can use this power source to defeat Godzilla. But this dude doesn't ask, how are you going to do this? We're just going to get this power source. I'm not going to no. ask you how you you're going to do this. You, know you, you don't ask. You don't, you don't, oh, God damn it. What's the Ian Malcolm thing? Oh, jeez. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though. Like, nobody asks, like, okay, you need this power source to defeat Godzilla. Like, what kind of weapon did you make? What kind of cannon? You know? And then there, and then I, I wish there had been, like, one of the... I, I wish there had been a line when... Even when the, the, the two human characters looked up and... Saw, um, <laughs> so okay. Uh, saw uh, Mega Godzilla. He goes, "What is that?" I, I think it would have been cool if he goes, "Oh my God, is that the weapon?" But you know, I I digress. I mean, it was. I I I wish I'd make. I wish the fight with Mega Godzilla had been a little longer. If I had to complain, that's the only thing I complain about, because it was like a really short. Well, you know what? But uh, I mean, you, you know, you you gave Kong you gave Kong an axe, so I mean, you said they're watching. Probably you know, wasn't gonna just watch it on TV in a slow mo- slow slower slower motion. <laughs> Whoa, okay, go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, uh, so final thoughts. Um, I get. I mean, honestly, as as of right now, with legendary pictures, this is the final one. A, There's they like, don't they said that they don't have they they have some ideas for sequels, but. It all depends on how much money this one makes, and because their contract actually ended last year. Because let's put it this way: with uh, with them, uh, them pushing um, Mortal Kombat back, because they want Kong and Godzilla to make more money. Of course, they're gonna different. I mean, like I said I I enjoyed it. It was one well, again. You know, I've uh, said it before about some movies where it's just one of those like dumb popcorn movies. Not that it's a dumb movie, but it's just one of those movies you go in there. Put your brain off, start munching the popcorn, and watch the movie and enjoy it. Oh yeah. Um. I mean, I mean, I honestly like. I'm not a fan of Kong Island, Skull Island. I'm not a fan of it. It's kind of boring. It's 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 got a lot of exposition in it. But it's got Loki and. Uh, and it's got Captain, Loki. It's got Loki Captain, and Captain Marvel in it. And her breasts. And her breasts. <laughs> uh, oh my god, they're beautiful. Oh my god. And then it's got um. So that one's like my least favorite, honestly. And then followed by like honestly, like the first Godzilla one's like my least favorite too. So Brie Larson, if you're if you're watching, hi. <laughs> yeah, you, you yeah, know. you'll get a you'll get a thing on Twitter where she'll yeah. tweet you say hi back, and you'll be like, oh my god, I got a screenshot. This is gonna take a screenshot and put it in a shadow box and frame it on my wall. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't follow super uh, anyway famous uh, people on uh, Twitter. Uh, I, just, I just I just follow toy people. Toy people. Yeah, and then um, I like King of Monsters. I mean, I honestly, if I'm gonna rank them, it'd be like King. It'd be Skong Island, Godzilla. King of the Monsters, and then you, this you, one, you which the, is weird because that's the order of timeline too that they go. I because <laughs> Kong happens. What did you say? The seventies. Yeah, Kong was in the seventies. The seventies. Uh, um, Godzilla is you know whatever is two thousand nine or whatever it took place, and you know two thousand what seventeen was King of Monsters when that because yeah because they well, said that, three yeah, years. They said it was three years since since that. Shit. So I don't remember how long, but I I know it was like supposed to some time had passed. So. It's two thousand seventeen. No, it was two thousand eighteen. Yeah. I take that back. It was two thousand eighteen because Godzilla was two thousand sixteen. Maybe. Maybe anyway, I'm wrong. Anyways, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. 
I gotta go. I gotta go look for stuff that I don't need. Yep. And I probably won't find anything which yep. I'm okay with. Uh, but yeah, thanks you guys for watching. Be sure if you like this video, uh, be sure to hit the like button. And hopefully the next one we'll be watching for episode two will be uh, more combat because I don't think anything else comes out between now and then because and that comes out in what three weeks? Uh, End of April. Yeah. And then it'll be and then maybe Black Widow. Well, they don't push it, it again. Let's put it this way: um, even if the center, the theater we usually go to doesn't show it, um, we do have another theater in town that I call the Cheap Theater, which doesn't wrong with that. They will run it. Yep. So. And uh, you know, one way or the other, I'm gonna go see it in theaters. Right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and then until next time. Yeah, now get the fuck out of my car.